Hey everyone, just a quick video from my end where I would like to show you how you can uh, manage multiple email inboxes on one domain without having to forward emails between those inboxes or without having to log into like five, six, seven plus different inboxes or and you know having like seven tabs open. Instead, you can set up one pretty straightforward um, forwarding type rule which automatically delivers all emails that go to whichever alias to your main inbox that you choose. And um, the great added benefit there is that one, um, hey, you only have to manage one inbox uh, without all you know, the back and forth. Two, you can then actually hook that one inbox up to your CRM or your client's CRM. One of my biggest um, frustrations when I was running an agency and I was running um, campaigns for clients was having to log in between different inboxes. So now, you know, you have that one inbox, you hook it up to a CRM and you can just manage uh, appointment setting or, you know, you, at least you can manage inboxes for your clients. Um, so those are the biggest and the main benefits. There are a few small side notes to be made, but I will get into that later. So what you'll have to do is from your main um from your main inbox so the one that is set as the the super admin you go to admin.google.com and just to clarify what we're looking to do here today so i have uh multiple inboxes but we'll just use three for this example so i have um first at getline.net so in my case that is hans at getline.net and then in order to be able to send more emails i've added multiple inboxes multiple aliases so there's um for example h decker so first last at getline.net or hans.decker first dot last at getline.net and we want all of these emails to be delivered to this inbox without having to forward them um which comes with you know with with a bunch of um uh, unwanted things that go along with that so how we start is from admin.google.com you go to apps google workspace and then you select gmail right here then in gmail you'll see default routing routing whatever right there as you can see i have, have one rule in there already let me just delete that for now so we can start from scratch and then we'll hit configure here then here you want to add your first alias. So in our case, the you know the first alias is for example htacker at getline.net. So that is that. So this whenever an email comes in to this alias, we can then set up rules for what happens to those emails. So we'll scroll down and then we'll hit also deliver to, and then we'll add more recipients. And then what we want to do here is we click add then we'll do hans at getline.net which is our main or my main inbox then important is that you also want to hit advanced and then uncheck do not deliver spam because otherwise you would still have to check all the spam folders for those inboxes where you know some leads or important emails might still end up so uncheck do not deliver spam you save that one um, so that's that then uh, you can add more if you want to, but you know, that's in this case, that's not really necessary. But then what you want to do is perform this action on non-recognized and recognized addresses, which is important as well. Then you'll hit save. And as you can see, you then have that rule right here. So whenever there's an email coming into HDecker at GetLine, it will also get sent to Hans at GetLine without um, having it being forwarded, which, you know, one, you get that awkward, like F FWD, you get like the forward thread, uh, which looks ugly. Uh, and two, it adds to your, you know, your sending limits. So, um, and it makes replying to it just trickier. Now, all you have to do is just whenever that email comes in, you hit reply. So then replies, they come from Hans at GetLine or first at GetLine instead of HDecker at GetLine but um, people pretty much never notice that it is an alias as long as you've set them up to be exactly the same so same profile image same signature same sender name uh, and even if they do notice i mean 
people don't really care. They know that people they have might have multiple aliases, maybe using that one for cold outreach and that one for your important email. Hey, it might even feel more important because of it. Um, so for now, you can just reply from that main inbox to all the emails that come into your inbox. Uh, most people don't notice anything. So let's just go through that step, through those steps one more time uh, for another alias. So for example, um, and I'm not sure if this one exists, so I'm not sure if it will throw up an error. That is something I haven't tried yet. So we also want those emails delivered to our main inbox, which is hansagetline.net. We want to set up advanced settings because we also want to receive the spam emails or what they perceive to be spam. And we want this action on non-recognized and recognized addresses and we save it. So there you go. So whenever any of these aliases get an email, I will also get it in my main inbox. So that way um, I don't have to do any logging in um, or logging out, having to manage multiple tabs, having to manage multiple inboxes. So that was my email for today. I uh, really hope that was helpful. If that was helpful, make sure you check out line.ai slash blog for more helpful information. Um, and then I'll hopefully see you in the next video.